a user on Plasma Spider sent me this drawing. It's four, but uh, it's it's a six and a half inch hole in the center here with uh, six holes, 1.2 inches in diameter around the outside of it, and uh, 21 holes, three quarters of an inch in diameter around the inside of a 19 inch diameter ring. Well, I drew this and the numbers don't add up. They don't add up at all. So I don't know how he got his measurements. Uh, normally when you measure a, a, a something like this, the six and a half inch center uh, circle is fine, but you don't measure from the inside edge of a, uh, of a lug. You don't do a measurement from the inside edge here to the inside edge here and say it's 3.2 inches. That doesn't tell me anything. Um, what you would normally me measure is from the center of this stud or hole to the center of this stud or hole, and then the array of holes would be placed, and whatever this dimension is, wh whatever it comes out to, would be then correct. Because it's the placement of the holes that's important, not the space in between them. But for some reason, you chose to do it this way. It's going to make it a little bit more difficult, but we can work with it. So we have 3.2 inches here and 1.2 inches on the hole. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, first I'm going to draw a center hole. We know that the center hole is 6.5 inches. So I'll say Q, 6.5, enter, and just put that center hole right there. All right. Now, the specification on these is 1.2 inch holes with 3.2 inches in between them. Well, the only way I know to get that accurately is to do Q 1.2 enter. I'll just put that there and then I'm going to copy it and click my mouse and say at zero comma 4.4, which is 3.2 plus 1.2. And what that does is that puts that second hole up here. Now the distance, if we do a measurement from the quadrant here to the quadrant here, we get our 3.2 inches. And if we measure the distance of the hole, you get your 1.2 so those are correct now what we have to do is we have to put those on an array around this circle the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to take my shape tool here uh my hexagon polygon shape i'm going to say six enter click my mouse and then i'm going to go o or um ortho and stretch it out like so now the way i want we know that these two lug nut holes are the correct diameter and spaced correctly apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the distance from the center of this hole to the center of this hole. And that comes out to 4.4 inches, which is what I space the lug nuts at. Okay. So I'm going to take this and let's say S scale from N node to N node. 4.4 enter okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this shape from the node here to the center of this circle now we already have two of the six lug nuts in place but I'm going to take this one and move it away delete it and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to say let's do an array a polar array wrapped completely around the design of six lugs and say OK, and I'm going to C, center it on that shape. And what that does is that gives me six lugs that are 1.2 inches in diameter and 3.2 inches from center wall to, uh, from, from facing wall to facing wall, which is an odd way to measure this out, but that's OK. So now we'll take this design here, right there, and I'm going to move it from the center of this hexagon to the center of this circle and that puts those where I want them and I can delete that 
hexagon now. All right. So the next thing we need to do is we need to, uh, he says he wants a 19 inch circle. Well, that's not going to work and I'll show you why. I'm going to say Q19, enter, and center it on this shape here. And that's supposedly going to be the outside. I'll move these dimensions because we might need them a little later on here. That's supposedly going to be the outside of F6, this shape. Okay. But he wants 21 holes, three quarters of an inch in diameter, and two inches apart. 21 holes, it says. Three quarters of an inch diameter and two inches apart. Now, you're going to see that when I draw this, it's not going to fit on this 19 inch plate. And the way I'm going to draw that is I'm going to say Q.75 enter. And I will just put, um, I'll just put that anywhere. I'm going to put it here for the moment, okay? Now, we have 21 holes and 21 spaces in between the holes. So we've got 42 angles that we have to calculate in order to do this. If you take 360 degrees and you divide it by 42, it comes out to it comes out to 8.5714285 degrees. Okay? Well, we know that from here to here I can draw a line from the quadrant to quadrant, and that will give me, pressing F8, that'll give me my three-quarter inch circle. All right? However, I then need a line from the other side of that circle to turn a certain number of degrees and be two inches long in order to create this design according to what he's drawn here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say line, I'll move in closer, end here. And I'm going to say angle negative 8.5714285 comma 2, enter. All right. Now that is... A two inch line and it's at the correct angle for a division of 42 angles around the circle now how do we <laughs> how do we draw this in a, in a in a in a circle and have it come together well the first thing I would have to do is establish where this will fall on this design in order to be centered on this circle so I'm going to do a line here from the midpoint of this and I'll do ortho and I'm just gonna go straight down a distance I don't know how long it's gonna be it's not gonna be that long but that'll give me an ortho line straight down and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a in order to get my midpoint line at the correct angle first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say line click here and say perpendicular okay that gives me a perpendicular line 90 degrees to this line that's on an angle of 8 point something degrees. I don't have to calculate out the angle because I've got 90 degrees to whatever this angle is. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to move it from the end point here to the midpoint of this line. There we go. And then I'm going to extend that line. Now let's see. I don't think I'm going to have enough room here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my control key and copy these five lines and I'm going to move them out here and I'm going to use X extend tool and extend it out like so and that will come down to this point here I'll X trim off the rest of that and what that does is that gives me one wedge of this design now if I were to um, take this and copy it from the node here to the center here you can see where his holes fall on that 19 inch plate they're falling off of the edge of the plate 
if I were to take this and do an array of 21 rotated copies, center it on this design, it will place all 21 of those holes where they need to be according to this dimension here, which is a 0.75 inch hole with two inches in between the walls and 21 holes altogether. The problem we run into here, and we'll double check this math here, I'm going to check the length of that line, F8, and it is in fact two inches. This line here is in fact 7.75 inches. So that, that math is correct. But the problem is you cannot uh, have this design with holes that fall off the end of the plate here. So if the measurement that he came up with, which is two inches inside wall to inside wall on these uh, on these these holes and a three-quarter inch hole here then this plate has to be bigger I would say Q uh, 21 21 inches and put it on the center of this circle and you see then those holes might work well for him as a plate but they can't they can't be done like that because those holes would simply just simply cut off. In fact, they wouldn't even have an edge for the bolt to grab onto. Uh, what your torch would do is it would just trim these out like this, and you'd end up you'd end up with these shapes all the way around, and that's that's not what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of some of these lines here. So I'm going to select this and say View Select, and you'll see that that's a two-inch line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, sort them by path length. And I'm going to select all of those two inch lines. Close the view select tool and delete them. That makes all those lines go away. I can also select this short line here, the 0.75 inch, inch line, view select. And by path length, I can take all the 0.75 inch lines, close, and delete those and make those disappear. So this design here is what he handed me. And unfortunately, the only thing that doesn't work, if, if it's imperative that these be 3.2 inches apart and these be 1.2 inches in diameter, and these be 0.75 inches in diameter and two inches apart, then this plate has to be larger than 19 inches. So I'll say Q21, enter, and give it an extra inch of space. Get rid of this line here. And then what we have is we have a plate that might work for what he wants to do. All of the holes are in the correct place. They're all measured correctly. They're all, they're all laid out right. The thing is, does this circle fit inside of a rim or something? And does he have 21 inches of space to place this inside of that wheel? If he doesn't, we can go Q20, center it on the circle and get rid of that. And that makes for a 20 inch diameter ring. There isn't a lot of metal on the outside of this, but it is a, it is a 21 bolt pattern. So maybe that won't make much of a difference. This would be a 20 inch circle. And that would still work, but the 19 inch circle is not going to work. I'll offset this by 0.5 to show you the 19 inch circle right there. And as you can see, it cuts into the holes and that's not going to do it. So I'm going to send this file to him and let him uh, uh, decide what he wants to do. And uh, we'll go from there. In 2024, I'm going to be offering free online training via Zoom conference room. Uh, I have a package that I put together and I'll be advertising it shortly. If you're interested in receiving training on Design Edge software, 
send your name, address, and phone number, a uh, description of your table and your software and what you make or what you plan to make with your table. Tell me about your uh, hypertherm or your, uh, uh, you know, torch master, whatever, uh, plasma torch that you have. And uh, let me know how I can help you out. And I'll get back with you and tell you about the program that I'm introducing in 2024 for online training. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it. And I think you'll find that it's worth the time and the energy to, to do it. Uh, the details will be coming out shortly. I hope you've enjoyed this video.